How to control your destiny with Stoic wisdom. One hour of Stoicism. Marcus Aurelius once wisely stated, the only way to master our destiny is to control what's within our reach and value what we possess. In today's world, filled with endless distractions and online influences, mastering our destiny seems daunting. Yet it's essential for personal growth and wisdom. If you like personal growth and increased wisdom, this content is for you. In this video, we delve into Stoicism's peaceful teachings. We cover a range of topics that, when embraced, can significantly improve your life quality. Remember that you don't need to watch all the content at once, but if you can, even better, you can watch at your own pace and revisit any time for deeper understanding. We'll explore practical Stoic principles not as isolated topics, but as interconnected parts of a whole. Discover the secret to happiness through Amor Fati, or Love of Fate, and learn to accept life's offerings. We'll discuss the dichotomy of control, a stoic tool for clear decision-making and finding calm in chaos. Identifying and avoiding anti-stoic habits is crucial for maintaining tranquility. We'll guide you in mastering your life by adopting stoic routines, fostering inner calm and resilience. Apply Marcus Aurelius's insights for productive days and learn to navigate modern life's complexities with stoicism as your guide. Stoicism offers peace and purpose in a challenging world. It's a philosophy tested by time, relevant for building strength, calmness, and fulfillment. Join us in exploring morning and evening routines inspired by Stoic virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. These virtues guide wise decisions and balanced living. Ready to transform your life? Embark on this journey of self-discovery with us, learning to start each day with purpose and end with reflection, guided by Stoicism's timeless wisdom. Gratitude is a formidable ally in life's journey. Embrace it wholeheartedly, cherishing every blessing, experience, and person that enriches your life. This sense of appreciation will fill you with joy, erasing dissatisfaction. As Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher once said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Start each day with this empowering mindset, practicing negative visualization to anticipate challenges and prepare for growth amidst adversity. Writing is a powerful tool in Stoicism. Keep a journal to document your intentions, feelings, and observations. This journal will serve as a guide, offering wisdom and direction, especially during tough times. In a world rife with distractions, learn to navigate with stoic grace, focusing on productivity. Embrace justice and compassion in all interactions, deepening your understanding of the human condition. When facing stress, maintain composure and perspective, guided by the wisdom that you control only your actions and responses. As night falls, reflect on your day, learning and growing from each experience. Embrace imperfection and strive for continual self-improvement. Set your intentions for the next day, charting a path marked by courage and wisdom, a future shaped by the four stoic virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance awaits. Use stoicism as the foundation for building your life. Tailor your journey to success, aligning it with your dreams, values, and daily responsibilities. Stoicism is adaptable. Make it uniquely yours. Keep your passion for Stoic practices alive, establishing a consistent routine. Stoicism is not just a philosophy, it's a transformative path. Bring its principles into every facet of your life, infusing wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance into your relationships, work, and personal endeavors. In an ever-changing and uncertain world, Stoicism stands as a beacon of balance, resilience, and inner peace. Embrace life's journey with purpose and clarity, guided by Stoic principles. Move forward with strength and conviction, knowing wisdom is your constant companion. Each day is an opportunity for growth and learning. May clarity and serenity be your steadfast companions in your quest for a fulfilling and meaningful life. Begin each day with a heart brimming with gratitude, 
guided by the four cardinal virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Focus on the blessings that enrich your life, and you'll find that gratitude melts away dissatisfaction and desire. This state of heartfelt thankfulness assures in a day filled with contentment and clarity about what truly matters. Make it a habit to be grateful for every good thing and to constantly thank those who have aided your progress. Embrace everything in your gratitude. Start your day with negative visualization. Anticipate challenges and setbacks, but rest assured, you're equipped to meet them with stoic virtues. This mental rehearsal fosters a quiet resilience, preparing you to adapt and thrive amidst life's trials. This practice steadies you against the day's uncertainties, keeping you unflustered by fate's whims. Now turn to journaling, a practice championed by stoic figures like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius. Each morning, dedicate time to write down your intentions, feelings, and insights. This becomes a guiding light of wisdom, helping you navigate modern life's complexities. As life's ever-shifting scenes unfold, stoicism provides tools to maintain equilibrium and grow through challenges. When stress emerges, draw upon your inner wisdom. Lean on reason and introspection, focusing on what's within your control and releasing what's not. This approach lets you meet stress with calm resilience and insight. Remember, life's primary task is to distinguish between what's outside your control and what you can choose. Seek good and evil, not in the external, but within your choices. Epictetus's words remind us, on the path to gratitude and resilience, it's your choices that shape your journey. Stoicism, with its enduring wisdom, assures you that each day is a chance to evolve, learn, and strengthen. Embark on a journey of purpose and clarity, guided by stoic principles for a fulfilling life. In the hustle of today's world, distractions are ever-present. Yet, as a stoic, you practice temperance, channeling self-discipline and moderation. When distractions arise, acknowledge them, but refocus on your immediate goals. This approach fosters inner peace and empowers you to use your mind effectively to achieve your objectives. In your interactions, embody stoic virtues of justice, wisdom, and compassion. Every meeting is a chance to make a positive, lasting impact. Be mindful of how your words and actions affect others, using each interaction to enhance your understanding of the human condition. Marcus Aurelius once said, Today I shall meet with interference, ingratitude, insolence, disloyalty, ill will, and selfishness. But I have seen the nature of the good that it is beautiful, and of the bad that it is ugly, and the nature of him who does wrong, that it is akin to me not only of the same blood or seed, but that it participates in the same intelligence and the same portion of the divinity. This perspective teaches us that no external event can harm us, nor should we harbor anger towards others as we are all part of a greater whole, meant to work in harmony. Face life's adversities as opportunities for growth. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to thrive in resilience. Challenges, often unexpected, can fortify or defeat us. As Stoics view these as chances to develop strength and wisdom, practice negative visualization, and trust in your cultivated resilience. This mindset transforms obstacles into valuable life lessons, marking steps toward personal growth and fulfillment. As the day winds down, embrace an evening of introspection and wisdom. As the sun dips below the horizon, turn your attention inward. Reflect on the day's experiences, pinpointing challenges, decisions, and insights. Remember Seneca's words, I will constantly keep watch over myself and even more useful, I will put each day under review. This is crucial, for our downfall lies in not examining our past. We often focus only on future plans, yet our future is shaped by our past. Embrace self-forgiveness and strive for personal betterment. Approach self-forgiveness with empathy and understanding. Acknowledge that growth is an ongoing journey. Learn from your errors and pledge to do better. Cultivate inner tranquility and self-acceptance as you progress on your stoic journey. Set goals for tomorrow, informed by today's wisdom. Infuse your actions, choices, and interactions with stoic virtues. By doing so, 
you'll forge a life of harmony and purpose anchored in stoic principles. Conclude your day with a tranquil evening, preparing for restful sleep. Engage in relaxation practices like deep breathing or meditative visualization. Soothe your mind and body, shedding the day's stress. This prepares you for a rejuvenating sleep, poised to embrace each new day as a chance for growth and learning. In life, we experience a spectrum of events, from joy, satisfaction, and love to suffering, pain, and loss. It's akin to a river's course, unpredictable and beyond our control, compelling us to flow along with its currents. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, advised, don't fight the strings of fate, embrace them for it is only in accepting them that you find inner peace. This concept, known in Stoicism as amor fati, encourages embracing life in its entirety, with all its ups and downs as a precious gift. While this may seem daunting, it's a cornerstone of Stoic thought. Loving life, with its joys and sorrows, is seen as a path to virtue and true happiness. Marcus Aurelius echoed this sentiment saying, love your fate no matter what form it takes because only through the acceptance of each moment can you find true serenity. Seneca further elaborated, Amor Fati is to love the totality of your existence, including your mistakes and failures as they are opportunities to learn and grow in wisdom. This stoic perspective teaches us to find beauty and gratitude in all aspects of life, transforming challenges into opportunities for growth and wisdom. Embracing Amor Fati, the love of fate, stands as a challenging yet profoundly rewarding aspect of stoicism. Remember, as Seneca once said, difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. The pursuit of Amor Fati is not just a test of will, it's a journey towards true happiness and contentment. In today's episode, we'll delve into the essence of Amor Fati and its significance in leading a virtuous and fulfilling life. Our discussion will unfold in two segments. Initially, we'll explore the stoic interpretation of fate and the reasons to cherish it. Following that, I'll share five practical strategies to integrate Amor Fati into your daily life, helping you to embrace this doctrine gradually and effectively. If you find value in our journey through Stoic wisdom, please like this video and share it with others. Your support helps spread these timeless teachings. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more insights into Stoicism. Tailored for the modern soul age 30 to 55, seeking tranquility, amidst life's turbulence. The Stoics of ancient times held a profound belief, the non-existence of chance. They saw the world as a tapestry woven by the gods, governed by necessary and rational laws. This perspective painted the universe as an entity of perfect order and harmony, where every occurrence had its explanation, purpose, and reason adhering to a rational law. This universal rational law, according to the Stoics, also resonates within humans, in their noose. It empowers individuals to discern what is rational and virtuous. Thus, aligning with one's conscience leads to rationality and virtue, while straying from this universal law results in irrationality and a departure from virtue. Fate, in Stoic philosophy, is the rational plan the cosmos has for each individual, a part of the universe's harmonious whole. Our destinies, whether comprehensible or not, whether controllable or beyond our grasp, are necessary parts of this cosmic logic and meaningfulness. In this light, even during our darkest times, it's crucial to look beyond our immediate circumstances. Embracing our destined path equates to living serenely, embodying the stoic principle of loving one's fate. As Seneca, a stoic philosopher, once said, life is like a play, it's not the length, but the excellence of the acting that matters. This highlights the importance of differentiating between acceptance and resignation. Resignation is a negative stance, a refusal to act against displeasures. Acceptance, conversely, is positive. It involves recognizing reality and adapting our actions accordingly, aligning with the unfolding events of our lives. In the Stoic perspective, there's a clear distinction between resignation and acceptance. Central to this is the Stoic dichotomy of control. We can't control universal events, health, disasters, life, or death. They're beyond our reach, and thus, shouldn't sway our hearts. 
Our power lies in our judgment and will. As Epictetus profoundly stated, only the will itself can control itself. We hold the power to choose our actions and responses to life's imposed circumstances and desires. It's a choice between fleeing our destiny or embracing and confronting it as our assigned path, where we must seek happiness. Stoic freedom involves this choice, to accept our fate and align our will with virtue, or to reject our reality pursuing vice. Epictetus observed, the essence of good and evil lies in the attitude of the will. Marcus Aurelius adds that true goods, like virtue and justice, are within our power and provided by the gods, and it's up to us to embrace or reject them. In every situation, we can choose to seek good or evil. Take illness, for instance. We can strive for recovery and live well despite sickness, or we can surrender, neglect ourselves, and harbor anger. If we pursue virtue and align with our conscience, every event, good or bad, enriches us, leading us towards the four stoic virtues. Joyful times bring happiness, though fleeting. Hard times strengthen and improve us, despite their difficulty. Remember, tough times will pass and are as essential as good times. Practicing Amor Fati requires courage to face life's challenges. Embracing Amor Fati also fosters justice and wisdom, teaching us to value each moment and understand the rational law that governs the world. This understanding makes our individual destiny the greatest gift towards a fulfilling life and true happiness. In the Stoic principle of Amor Fati, we find a powerful call to embrace life's challenges. This doctrine intertwines the four Stoic virtues, urging us to excel in our journey. Amor Fati teaches us to love our fate, recognizing our life as a precious chance to pursue virtue and a meaningful existence. Consider this, a life devoid of challenges and the quest for happiness might lack true value. Furthermore, happiness often demands sacrifice and true acceptance comes with embracing our given circumstances. Stoicism guides us to align our will with reason, leading to genuine, fulfilling happiness. Reflecting on Amor Fati, Seneca wisely stated, fate leads those who accept it and drags those who refuse to acknowledge it. He observed that adversity's absence can be a misfortune, denying us the chance to prove ourselves. Echoing this sentiment, Marcus Aurelius noted, it is characteristic of man to love and seek what fate has attributed and prepared for him. Epictetus adds a crucial perspective. Do not seek that events happen as you wish. Wish for events as they happen, and your life will flow smoothly. What are your thoughts on Amor Fati? Do you embrace your destiny? Are there aspects of your life you struggle to accept, or have you welcomed them as they are? Share your thoughts in the comments. Remember, as Epictetus said, the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you whose presence calls forth your best. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to fall prey to harmful habits. Stoicism reminds us to focus on what's within our control, breaking free from the chains of uncontrolled emotions and impulses, leading to true liberation and peace. In the next section, we delve into six prevalent yet detrimental habits that I've personally experienced and are widespread in our fast-paced society. These habits can hinder our mental serenity personal development, and our pursuit of a virtuous life. As we explore these habits, I encourage you to adopt a self-critical lens, viewing yourself objectively. This approach will help you identify which of these habits you might be succumbing to, empowering you to take decisive action against them. The first habit, delaying commitments. This seemingly benign habit is, in reality, quite pernicious. Procrastination, the act of deferring what should be done immediately leads to wasted time and energy. It traps us in a cycle of constant worry about unfulfilled tasks without taking action. Stoicism warns us about the dangers of procrastination. It can prevent us from meeting personal and professional responsibilities, degrade the quality of our work and erode the trust others place in us. The Stoics, valuing integrity and duty, saw procrastination as a profound disrespect to oneself. As Seneca wisely said, while we waste our time hesitating and postponing, life is slipping away. The habit of postponing not only leads to lost time and unmet obligations, but also escalates stress and anxiety. 
Consider an important project with a looming deadline. By delaying and cramming the work at the last moment, you invite unnecessary pressure, stress, and overwhelm. To combat this, it's essential to plan and execute tasks methodically. Breaking work into manageable segments and tackling them consistently is far more effective than a last-minute rush. Procrastination is antithetical to stoic principles, leading to inefficiency and mental turmoil. We can overcome it through careful planning, self-discipline, and a steadfast focus on our responsibilities and values. To prevent falling into this trap, I advise against making commitments when swayed by strong emotions, particularly during moments of euphoria. Decisions made in the heat of emotion often lack clear, rational thought. Before committing, take time to reflect in solitude. Avoid making promises when overly joyful and steer clear of impulsive decisions. The second habit, lying. Lying, a habit rooted in fear, ultimately entraps the liar in their own web of deceit. It undermines the core stoic values of honesty and truth, essential pillars of a virtuous life. As Marcus Aurelius, a renowned stoic philosopher once said, if it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. This quote underscores the importance of integrity in our actions and words. Lying not only compromises our character, but also deteriorates the quality of our relationships, leading to a loss of trust that is hard to regain. The Stoics emphasize mutual trust and respect as foundational for healthy, enriching relationships. When we lie, we create an alternate reality, trapping ourselves in a complex, exhausting cycle of deception that breeds stress and anxiety. Consider the act of impulsively sharing sensationalist news on social media without verifying its authenticity. Upon realizing the news is false, feelings of deception and embarrassment arise. Moreover, by spreading this misinformation, you may have inadvertently influenced others' opinions and actions negatively. This habit of uncritically accepting information without verification hampers our ability to think critically, making us vulnerable to manipulation. In today's world, it's imperative to fact check, evaluate sources, and most importantly, develop and trust our own judgment. Without this discernment, we risk being manipulated and exploited by others. In essence, to live a stoic life, we must strive for truth and integrity, constantly challenging ourselves to raise above these common destructive habits. The third habit, poor communication skills. In today's world, the art of effective communication seems to be fading. We often witness conversations lacking depth, where people fail to engage genuinely or listen attentively. This decline in communication quality not only leads to superficial interactions, but also fosters misunderstandings and conflicts. The Stoics, known for their wisdom in harmonious living, emphasize the significance of clear and authentic communication in nurturing relationships. As Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This highlights the Stoic belief in the power of listening, a key component of effective communication. Poor communication skills can create barriers in expressing our needs and feelings, leading to dissatisfaction and resentment. The Stoics advocated for authenticity and meaningful self-expression, essential for enriching conversations. They understood that effective communication is not just about speaking, but also about creating a valuable exchange between individuals. To overcome this destructive habit, I suggest actively working on improving your communication skills. This includes expanding your vocabulary and engaging with enriching content. Practice active listening, where you focus more on understanding the speaker rather than preparing your response. This approach not only makes conversations more fluid, but also makes the other person feel heard and valued. By consistently practicing these skills, you can achieve excellence in communication, fostering stronger and more fulfilling relationships in both your personal and professional life. The fourth habit, constant comparison with others. In our journey through life, we often fall into the trap of incessantly comparing ourselves with others. This habit, deeply ingrained in our competitive nature, 
might seem harmless, but can significantly erode our self-esteem and life satisfaction. It's a common scenario, spotting someone with greater success, wealth, or talent, and feeling a sense of inadequacy. However, as the Stoics wisely advised, comparison is the thief of joy. Theodore Roosevelt. The essence of Stoicism lies in focusing on personal growth and cherishing our own achievements, rather than being caught in the endless cycle of comparison. When we constantly measure ourselves against others, we risk losing our unique identity and authenticity. This pursuit of matching or surpassing others' standards can lead us astray from our true selves. Remember, as Seneca said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Consider the workplace scenario, constantly comparing yourself to colleagues, feeling perpetually inadequate, and pushing yourself to the brink. This relentless pressure can culminate in burnout and a profound sense of unhappiness, distancing you from your authentic self. The destructive nature of constant comparison lies in its ability to detach us from our true identity and values. The moment of realization comes when we understand that constantly monitoring others' achievements is futile. We already possess what we need. If not, we have the capacity to seek it elsewhere. Embrace the wisdom that true contentment comes not from having everything, but from appreciating what we have and striving to be better than we were yesterday. As Marcus Aurelius aptly put it, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. In summary, the path to a fulfilling life is paved with self-improvement and authenticity, not with endless comparisons. Let us strive to compete with ourselves, for our growth and contentment lie within our own journey, not in the shadow of others. The fifth habit is seeking external blame. In today's world, it's all too common for individuals to point fingers elsewhere when things go awry. This tendency to seek external blame is a pervasive habit, one that shifts the focus from self-accountability to external factors. Such a mindset strips us of our power and autonomy as we inadvertently hand over the reins of our lives to others. The Stoics, wise in their understanding of human nature, taught us to discern between what lies within our control and what does not. Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This wisdom rings true in the context of blame. By attributing our challenges to external sources, we distance ourselves from the crucial realization of our own agency. This habit not only fosters a victim mentality, but also cultivates emotional dependency, leaving us at the mercy of others for our emotional well-being. However, the Stoic path invites us to reclaim our personal responsibility. It encourages us to recognize and embrace the aspects of life we can influence, steering clear of the futile act of blaming others. We are indeed capable and responsible beings, called to acknowledge our behaviors and diligently work towards rectifying them. This journey is not about living flawlessly, but about striving for virtue, wisdom, and inner peace. I urge you to introspect and critically assess these tendencies in your life. Remember, as Epictetus, another Stoic sage, advised, no man is free who is not master of himself. It is in recognizing and unshackling the bonds that constrain us that we pave our path to freedom. Moral evolution is not about discarding all past beliefs, but about scrutinizing them to determine which to retain, which to let go and which new principles to adopt. In the philosophy of Stoicism, Marcus Aurelius penned a profound thought. When you find it difficult to get out of bed at dawn, remember this. I have to go to work as a human being. What do I have to complain about if I'm going to do what I was born for? Or was I born to curl up under the covers and keep warm? This reflection encapsulates the essence of Stoic duty and purpose. Marcus Aurelius, in his self-dialogue, acknowledges the comfort of staying in bed, but challenges this notion with the example of nature's creatures. Plants, birds, ants, spiders, and bees, each diligently performing their roles, contributing to a harmonious world. He questions, and you're not willing to do what is due of you as a human being. 
He then addresses the natural limits set on necessities like sleep, eating and drinking, emphasizing that exceeding these limits is a sign of not loving ourselves truly. For if we did, we would embrace our nature and its demands. He compares this dedication to artists so absorbed in their craft that they neglect basic needs, valuing their work above all. Marcus Aurelius extends the concept of work beyond mere professional duties to encompass all actions essential to human life. This perspective urges us to take ownership of our time and deeds. He exemplifies this through his role as an emperor, where his actions were crucial for the well-being of the entire Roman Empire. This stoic lesson is equally applicable to our lives. We are not meant to be passive like plants, but active and responsible as humans. The allure of fleeting pleasure should not overshadow our judgment. The true fulfillment comes from acting rightly and responsibly, from the satisfaction of completing our tasks. Marcus Aurelius reminds us of this in his diary, a lesson we too should remember, especially when facing the reluctance of a new day or the dread of a Monday. His words guide us, rise, act, and fulfill your duties, for our time is uncertain and precious.